My name is Henrietta Shelton. I'm the president of the Chickamauga Beach Historical Foundation, and we deal with the arts. And we do jazz concerts, and we're fortunate enough that Wells Fargo just donated us a home, and we're gonna have a, a youth institute for jazz studies. Henrietta named the Foundation and Jazz Series after the famous segregated Black Beach on Atlantic City's Missouri Avenue. I put on the first jazz concert on Chickamauga Beach. Right, right next to the, the pier. And we put on a jazz concert with Roy Ayers and it was very successful. We had almost 3,000 people out there. When you say Chicken Mountain Beach, the locals only knew that name because the people who cleaned the beach at nighttime found maybe two or three bones. Ah, and it's derogatory. It's derogatory. But it became a positive thing in Because your mind. blacks always managed to turn their derogatory statement into a positive. So we turned lemon into lemonade. In 1927, the city council and the hotel owners got together at Seaview Country Club and they had a meeting and they decided then to remove all of the African Americans off of all the beaches in Atlantic City and to segregate the beach and put them on Missouri Avenue Beach. And while they chose that location, that's in front of the convention center, owned and operated by the city of Atlantic City, they wouldn't get any complaints from the hotel owners. And that became the, the beach where from Dr. Martin Luther King to Sammy Davis Jr. all came to that beach because they were in town for the summer. They couldn't go to hotels up and down the avenue until the Civil Rights Act 1964. Blacks could go to any beach they wanted to, but blacks didn't do that. We stayed there, we loved it. Chicken Bone Beach Jazz concerts go on throughout the fall, winter, and spring at the Claridge Hotel one of Atlantic City's few remaining majestic old structures from the 1920s. The building is beautiful, and actually they base it off Boardwalk Empire, if you ever seen that. And the setting is old setting, old furniture. They have done an excellent job on that hotel. It really is. And in the summer, concerts move out to the boardwalk, right next to historic Chicken Bone Beach. Our main purpose was actually to shed light on Atlantic City when it was socially restricted for blacks. Because I grew up in that era, and I remember the black community was dynamite. I mean, it was entrepreneurs, a village raising the children. It was a camaraderie that was like none other. That's God is a one. 